Hello everyone, it's really good to see you um, and I'm calling from Berkshire in England which is not too far from London, about maybe 30 miles away. Um, we've had a little bit of snow this week which is quite exciting because we don't get it very often here um, and as I think some of you already know I work at Roehampton University training teachers um, in primary geography. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it is over to Lohita first. Hello, ma'am. This is Lohita Girija. I am a nine grader. Would you allow me to ask a question? Of course, Lohita. What would you like to ask? Britishers are known for punctuality and discipline in life. What qualities that a typical Britisher have? Oh, what other characteristics does a typical Britisher have? That's really difficult. It's um quite difficult. A bit like, I guess, where you are. Everyone is different. Um, sometimes they say uh, that northerners are more friendly. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> um, we are quite punctual generally, I think. Most people are, um, not everyone. I think we're known to be polite, so maybe most people would be polite, but I can see that you are very polite as well. You're always, you're all saying please and thank you, which is lovely. So we have that in common. Um, yeah, I think those are the main ones. Okay. Thank you, Lahita. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, over to you. Yes, sir. Hi. Who inspired you to become a teacher? I remember seeing this question, and um, I think there was a mixture of people, but the main person, when I was at my secondary school, I had an amazing geography teacher whose name was Mrs. Cornish, and she made the lesson so much fun. Um, but I thought I would probably be better at teaching primary school children. Um, and then I did some work experience in a primary school when I must have been about 15. Are any of you that age? So, or a bit younger? Yeah. How old are you? 13 years old, sir. So a little bit younger. And my son is 12. So yeah, I did some work experience in a school when I was 15. And I really loved it. So that made me think again, as well as the inspirational teacher, I really enjoyed that work experience as well. So I bet that uh, you must be good at geography. Well, <laughs> I've got a little confession to make. My geography knowledge isn't that great. So in primary school, we do a lot about learning about the environment, learning about the world around us. But sort of quiz type geography, I'm not so good at. So um, in terms of quizzes, I'm probably actually better on the subject of food than I am at geography. But I love the subject because there's always something new to learn. Yeah, thank you. Do you think that education system in England is competent enough to produce global citizens? That's a really good question. Is it Naga? Is that your, your name? Naga Lakshmi, ma'am. Nagalakshima. Yeah, I think that's a really good question. So I think one of the really important things in today's world, personally, is to produce um, effective global citizens. Um, but I guess the education system is part of that. Uh, and maybe what happens outside of education is also part of that. So interestingly, the subject of citizenship is taught from seven years and over. Um, so the top part of primary school and secondary school. Um, hello. Hi, Sahiti. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I am fine. Thank you, ma'am. My name is Sahiti, a sixth grader. I would like to ask a question, ma'am. Please do. What subjects are taught at secondary level? At secondary level. So I'm going to tell you what they are, but I'm also going to post a link in the chat. So you can look it up in a little bit more detail if you want to as well. So we have a national curriculum in England, which nearly all pupils would study, I think, because that's a statutory thing. Um, so a key stage three and four, which is secondary. So that's from in England, that's from seventh grade up to 11th grade would be compulsory secondary. So there's English, maths, 
science, history, geography, languages, design and technology, art and design, music, physical education, citizenship and computing. And then when pupils get to 10th grade and they do their GCSEs, then they have a bit more choice about what they do. So there's some subjects they still have to do, like English, maths and science, but they get a little bit more choice about which ones they want to do for their exams. Uh, and they study those over two years from year 10 and 11. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Super You're welcome. Welcome. Hello, ma'am. Hello. How are you, ma'am? I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. This is Subramanya Sushinvas, a seventh grade student. I would like to ask a question, ma'am. Can I ask, ma'am? Yes, please. What subjects are taught to teacher trainers in your country? Ah, now do you know that does actually vary a little bit. So for secondary school teachers, they can choose which subject they want to train in. Um, so they might do geography, for example. Um, primary teachers, there's a number of different routes into teaching. So they can do an education degree, which quite often has a specialist subject, but they have to try and cover all the other subjects as well. Um, they can do what's called a PGCE, which is a year long course after they've done their degree in primary teacher training. Or if they've already got a degree, they can train in school, but they would have some sessions in university usually as well. Yeah. Hello. How are you, ma'am? I'm very well, how are you? I'm also fine, ma'am. This is Radhika Priya, a sixth grader. I would like to ask you a question, ma'am. Please do. What kind of education system do English people have? Right. So most, most um, children in England would go to nursery um, and then they would start school at five. So school isn't compulsory until they're five but most would do their reception year in school, which is when they're four. Uh, and sometimes the nursery might be attached to the school as well. Uh, then they have primary school from age five to 11. And secondary school is from 11 to 16, but then they now have to stay in education till they're 18. So they might stay at school or they might go to college um, and things like that. Hi. How are you, ma'am? I'm very well. How are you? Same to you, ma'am. Good. My name is Ram Lakshmi. I am a ninth grader at GPH school, Ailavaram. Can you ask one question, ma'am? Of course. What subjects are taught at primary level? Uh, so primary level is very similar uh, to secondary level. Um, I'm just going to double check. It's also on that link I sent. You've got... Key stages one and two, which are primary. Uh, and then you've got key stages three and four, which are secondary. So at the moment, uh, primary is English, math, science, design and technology, history, geography, art and design, music, physical education, which includes swimming, uh, computing and ancient and modern foreign languages. So I think it's just the citizenship one, which is added at secondary. I think most of the rest is similar. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. You're very welcome. Sri Lakshmi, over to you. Yes, sir. Hello. Hi, ma'am. My name is Hello. Sri Lakshmi. My name is Sri Lakshmi, a seventh grader. Can I ask a question, ma'am? Yes, please do. Thank you. Which country's education system is your favorite? Now, do you know, I have to confess, I don't know enough about other education systems to say which is my favourite. I only really know the English one. Even in Wales and Scotland, they're a little bit different. Um, so I know, for example, that Wales has introduced a new early years curriculum, which is different to the one in England. Um, so I'm sure there's some similarities as well. Um, Hello, ma'am. Hello. How are you, ma'am? I'm very well, Mamantha. Thank you. My name is Mamata. 
sixth grader. I would like to ask you a question, ma'am. What subjects do you personally recommend to be included in your school curriculum? Oh, I heard a little bit about, was it favourite classes in the curriculum? Yes. yes. Well, my favourite subject is geography. Um, I also like cooking, but that's not a separate subject. It's part of DT, so that would come in under that. Uh, and I quite like maths as well. Math seems to be one of those subjects that people either love or hate. There doesn't tend to be much in the middle. <laughs> so I think those are probably my three favourites. Yes. Mamada, what's your favourite subject? English, sir. <laughs> you're very, you're all very good at English. It's amazing. I think we're not, generally, we're not very good at languages in our country. Um, we, we, I have some people who speak um, several languages, but generally, we're not too good. <laughs> yeah. So I have a question for you. In fact, since we are, um, since I am working in a public school uh, located in a, a rural part of India. Uh, so in India, in my school, we have a, a free meals for the students that come to my school, free uniform, free test books. And uh, above all, uh, they get uh, the money from the government uh, just as an incentive to, to the students. So do you have that kind of a provision in your country, those who we come to the public schools? We have some of that. So um, it's a little, some similarities. So children in key stage one, so that's just the ones aged between five and seven, they're the only ones that get a free school lunch. Um, everyone else either takes a packed lunch from home or, or they pay for the lunch at the school if it's provided. Sometimes there's a few schools that won't have. Most schools will provide dinner. Um, but I can almost guarantee that the, the dinners aren't particularly good. <laughs> They're not particularly nice. And they're sort of mass produced on a big scale. So I'd love to hear about your lunches as well. Um, yes. Yes. There's books. So the, the schools have a budget. Um, which they allocate on different resources. So that could be on books, for example, um, or if it was geography, they might want a globe or some maps. Um, on the whole, they tend to be kept, especially in primary level within the school, for a reading book to take home. And at secondary level, it may be a bit different, but when I was at school, which is quite a long time ago, <laughs> we, had, we had to buy the books most of the time. Do you, agree with, yes, sir. do you agree with the statement that the Indians speak English faster than anyone in the world? Based on my experience today, then I would say yes. <laughs> but I know there's lots of other places that are really good at languages as well. But you guys are amazing. When do you start learning English? So, Dikshit, at what age do you start learning English? At the age of three? Yeah. Yes, sir. At the age of wow. three, kids start learning English. That's yeah. one of the reasons you're so good then. And is that everybody in India would start at three or would that vary from place to place? No, actually, it's almost the same. It, it doesn't yeah. vary from place to place. And I have one other question. Uh, in India, most of the parents, they like to send their children to the private schools, even though we have very good public schools. We have a strong network of public system, public school system here. Uh, what kind of the mindset do the English people have when it comes to the uh, sending their children to the schools? Do they prefer yeah, the private so, sector or the public sector? Yeah, most people here would send their children to the public schools or the state schools. Um, the private schools are really expensive, um, but people tend to choose them because they think their children may have a better education. Um, and I think it largely depends on where they go. Um, and the classes are smaller. The class sizes are smaller. Sometimes they may be better resourced, but, you know, just like state schools, they're mixed as well. So it, it varies quite a bit. Thank you. So one of my students would like to share the menu that we have in our school. Rohita Girja, are you available? Yes, sir. Yeah, could you please tell us the menu that start from Monday to Saturday? Uh, 
and uh, the menu wise. So what do we have on Monday? Okay, sir. Monday, lemon rice and pickle. Yeah. Yes, so lemon rice and pickle. I think that's the menu that stands. I think the almost every, every day, every Monday, they have the specific menu on Monday. Okay, what about Tuesday? Sambar bath and egg. Yeah, it's a spicy soup, uh, Indian spicy soup. I think that is the egg is um, given to students almost every student, they get the egg free of cost. Yeah. I've heard of sambal, but I've not heard of the other part. Yeah. Have you have you ever tasted the sambal? I think so. It's quite spicy. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, I know that in England, we get sort of Indian food. But mm -hmm. where you are, it's very regional, isn't it? So we don't get your regional food. We get more of a general yeah. uh, Indian we, we, cuisine. We get authentic Indian spicy food here. Lovely. I love spicy food. <laughs> yes. So what about Wednesday? Wednesday, vegetable biryani and the potato kurma. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds lovely. And I, re I recognize all of those dishes. We have those here as well. Yes. So what about the... Yes. Thursday, vegetable biryani and pickle. Mm -hmm. Okay, Friday. Cucumber. Friday? Uh, rice and dal. Okay. Oh, my favorite. Lentils. Lentils is dal. Yeah, spicy lentils. <laughs> One of my favorites. Yes. What about Saturday? Rice and sambar. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I loved hearing about your menu. Thank you. Okay. And uh, would you like to ask any questions uh, regarding our uh, uh, school timings and uh, um, subjects? So I noticed it was a little bit different because you go to school on a Saturday. Um, mm -hmm. In England um, and Wales and Scotland, it would be Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. um, and generally, um, our school days run from about 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, so I'd like to hear about how your school day is organized yes, and which subjects yeah. you do. Start at 9 a.m. Okay. Our school ended at ended, uh, 4 p.m. So fairly similar. And that's Monday to Saturday. Yes. And the second Saturday is a holiday in a month. Uh, okay. Except that I think we have to work uh, uh, all through these uh, six days. Okay. Uh, one of you share the subjects that you learned. Who can Seven, sir. Seven subjects, okay. Three languages and four core subjects. Okay, three plus four, yes, seven subjects.